Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about DMR IDs. A DMR ID is a number programmed into your DMR radio. And you can kind of think of it like a phone number. Every phone has to have an individual number so that people can call it. The purpose of a DMR ID is that it allows for individual operations like private calls, call alerts, radio checks, radio enable and disable and remote monitor. And in any DMR system, each radio should have an individual ID. Duplicate IDs can cause problems. For example, two radios may try to reply to a private call because when you try to private call another radio, usually it will acknowledge the call before allowing it to go through. If two radios were to share the same ID, then they would both try to acknowledge it at the same time and they would clash. So there are two different cases for DMR IDs that I'm going to cover in this video. The first one is amateur radio, which in case you haven't heard of before, I'm just going to quickly explain. Amateur radio is a hobby where people experiment with electronics and radio equipment and have certain radio frequencies they're allowed to use for non-commercial purposes after getting a license from the government. The second case is other radio systems, all other radio systems, such as those for businesses, government, police or license free radios. So how are IDs usually assigned? Well, in the commercial world, each network would issue its own IDs and since radios would never leave their network, there would be no problems with duplicate IDs in use. However, within the amateur world, since repeaters are connected to worldwide networks, DMR IDs have to be issued in a coordinated way so that you don't have two people using the same ID. So amateur radio operators get one ID to use on all amateur DMR networks. This has caused some confusion for others Getting a DMR ID is not a license or authorization to use a DMR radio. It's simply a number assigned to you so that your radio can be identified uniquely on a system. So what does all this mean for you within amateur radio? You only need to get an amateur DMR ID if you want to use amateur radio DMR repeaters. You must have an amateur radio license from your government to get an amateur DMR ID and to be allowed to use amateur radio repeaters. You can use the same ID across all amateur DMR networks and once you get an ID simply type it into your radio's programming software and write it to the radio and you can start using it. If you're only using Simplex then you can just make up any ID it doesn't matter as long as your ID doesn't clash with someone else's on the same channel. This is because the ID is not a regulatory requirement. It's only to allow the DMR system to work properly. And for everyone else, there's no central authority to issue DMR IDs outside of amateur radio. So if you're using a commercial network or repeater, which you should only do with authorization from the system owner, then ask them which ID you should use so they can give you one which doesn't clash with any other radio on their system. If they provide the radio, then they should have already set it up for you, so you don't need to worry about this. If you're setting up your own DMR system or programming your own radios for use on Simplex, including license-free channels, then just assign each radio a unique ID. If you're only going to be receiving then it doesn't matter which ID you use, but make sure to set your radio to RX only so that you don't accidentally transmit. So to recap and summarize the video, DMR IDs are assigned centrally for amateur use. If you're using amateur DMR networks, then make sure you get an ID, but you can still operate on simplex without getting one assigned to you. If you're not using amateur DMR, then you don't need to apply online for an amateur DMR ID because IDs are simply managed by the system owner, so they'll give you one. And if you're programming your own system or radios for use on a simplex channel, then just make up a unique ID for each radio. Thanks for watching this video about DMR IDs. 
If you want to see more videos about DMR and other digital voice modes, then check out my channel because I have lots of videos already. And also subscribe so you get to see all my new videos.